Good afternoon and thank you for stopping by Scott's Talks. It's Cybersecurity Month. So in today's video, we're going to briefly go over some cybersecurity facts and tips. When we talk to most small businesses, what we hear most often is they're lacking information and understanding to properly deal with newer and more efficient cyber threats. Cybercrime is second most reported economic crime affecting 31% of organizations. Remember, the top security risks that are happening to counter firms are from inside the firm. As a trusted business advisor for CPA firms, the ways we help clients achieve their goals is an understanding of cybercrime. For this reason, accounting firms are more at risk for security threats than other industries. Cyber criminals do not work nine to five. They continue to develop more efficient and better ways to get into your financial information. Accounting firm clients are one of the biggest risks out there to be on the lookout for security threats, prevent revenue losses, and maintain credibility with your clients. With the new safeguard rule in place, it's important than ever to be aware of cybersecurity issues in your firm. Most breaches are caused by your biggest asset, your employees. Account firms are switching over to the cloud, so to allow for more flexibility and access to the software from any place at any time, that there are risks. Gartner predicts 95% of security breaches and cloud security failures will be the result of the customer or the employee in 2020. In other words, cloud users will create their own vulnerabilities and their risk. Phishing happens to be one of the major ways cyber criminals get in. For example, most recently, there were phishing attacks that came during tax season. There was an email scam where the sender impersonated the IRS and sent emails with the subject line, automatic income tax return, or electronic tax return reminder and asking for information. An attacker might pretend to be from the IRS or another accounting firm or posing as a client asking for W-2s or W-9s. The attacker then uses these forms to fill out false information and tax returns in your name, costing you and your business thousands of dollars. Your credibility can be jeopardized if you don't have safeguards in place. Thank you for watching today's video. If you like what you saw, please leave a like and please share it. And if you want to know different topics that we should talk about on our next video, please leave that also as your comment. And if you want to know more, visit us at nerdsupport.com. Once again, thank you and have a great day.